All right, kids. Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. And uh, we're now doing the intro. Uh, when we get to the second part, you'll hear me, you know, doing the unbox, which we did before we set up the tripod. And now we're doing the uh, intro. Uh, there are two things you have to charge on this thing. One of them is the thing with the fill light, and the other is the little remote control here that slides on and off. We'll talk about that after the intro. So let's get right to the intro. And damn, if that ain't a little overexposed today. But hopefully it'll sound good, look okay. We'll process it all in PowerDirector, and we'll see how everything works out. Let's go to the intro right now. All right, kids, let's get to it, shall we? And you're looking at the desk going, Empal headphones. What? What's up with that? Well, those are the reason that I bought this product. The actual product we are testing today, which is the Empal selfie stick. Picked it up for about thirteen twenty nine. It had a coupon code for it, and we're gonna get our unboxed here, and then we're gonna use this stick to uh, shoot the intro. Of me A2, which is now the you know the shooter of choice. So let's let's get her open. Oh, and all our instructions are on the back in little tiny lettering that Tim can barely read. But that's just me being me. Let's get her out of here. Whoa, there, there we go. Oh, look at that. We got oh, Empal. <laughs> Dream, explore, inspire. Ooh, this is probably a Impulse VIP Club. All right, uh, uh, we just set that off over here, and that is the whole selfie stick, kiddos. That's it. There you see it. Yeah. This little guy here is our uh, Bluetooth thing with Bob. This little guy here is Bluetooth thing with Bob. And uh, this just pivots up. And you can set it where it pivots. You set it where you want it. And, uh, there's a little peeling here. Ooh, I know. Ooh, is that satisfying or what? Ah, we got a little OED fill light up there. All right. So, as you may know, or should know, we are, uh, of course, going to process this video. We're shooting it on the Mi A2, but we're going to process it on that puppy right back there. There'll be a link to both of those phones in the description below. Please read it. Come on. Do me a favor, folks. For once in your lives. So we're going to kind of follow the instructions a little. We'll get her set where we want her. Then we'll tighten her down. And look there. Ooh. There's our charging port right there. And yes, it came with uh, another micro USB charging port. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that's for the remote and uh, the other gizmo. Of course, you can turn it and 
turn it. <laughs> so first off, I'm going to get her charged up. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, we're back. We got her fully charged up. Took about 41 minutes. Uh, there is actually a warning inside the box here. You know, don't plug it into anything over one amp. So, I just charged it off the uh, computer using the USB port through my TP Link uh, adapter down there in the corner. So, I've read all the instructions, or most of them. And I've already paired it up. It pairs up very quickly. I'm getting rid of the box for now. We don't need that anymore. I think I got it covered here. Mostly. So, this thing just flips up or down. But, there's some cool stuff here. I gotta remember to keep it in front of the camera, don't I? Yeah, it would, it would help a lot, wouldn't it? Yeah. You can uh, flip this up to uh, screw something onto there. Pretty cool engineering. And uh, down here you have a quarter inch uh, screw hole to mount this to something else. So you'd swing this puppy up like that. And tighten it. And as I stated, we're going to be using this for our uh, uh, introduction part of the video. I got some uh, soft pads on here to hold your phone in place. And this is one heck of a strong spring on there, folks. I mean, we're talking strong. It's hard for me to pull on. Of course, I'm pulling on it with the shoulder. I'm not supposed to lift anything with. Like an idiot. Uh, but that's okay. Alright. And then down here you have your little Bluetooth controller. Uh, and it'll pair right up. Uh, now you want to get it out of there. Let's say so you can take selfies. You know, maybe set it up somewhere else. I have yet to figure out how to telescope it out. But we're going to pull this thing back a little. And then we're going to push up here and slide our little remote control there out. And you pair this to your phone. I've already done that. It happened in like, I don't know, tenth of a second or so. So I'm going to set that off to the side. We don't need it. And then down at the bottom, you have a switch here. What well, looks like a switch. It's actually the lock for these guys. So and you're going to pull these out. And this is why I bought this. Not for the selfies, except for, you know, facing my camera. And like I said, we'll be shooting the intro on that. And then you just rotate this puppy. And they're locked. And now, you reset your angle. Slip your phone into it and... You is off to the races. Look at that. Is that cool or what? It's a little taller. But it beats the crap out of this gooseneck mount I'm using, which is just a pain in the ass to use. Not wrong with a gooseneck, but... So... I'm going to get the Mi A2 stuck in there. I want to shoot the intro and uh, talk some more. And as usual, make sure you like this video. Give us a big thumbs up. 
or down if that's your choice. Uh, leave some feedback. And uh, remember uh, to subscribe and hit the little notification bell right next to subscriptions. It's right there on uh, YouTube when you're in there. If you don't know how to get to it, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll send you out for re-education next week. Not a problem. Thanks for watching. On to the outro.